in Bog Tycoon 2 has a ton of different game passes which you can buy to let you build better things in the game. So today I'll be telling you what each one does so you can better decide which one you want to buy next. But before we do, if you haven't already, why not turn that subscribe button grey? It's free and you'll get all my videos when I upload. Anyway, let's get right into it. And here we are, guys. I've got a bunch of stuff laid out right here, which showcases every single game pass, which we're going to be going through right here. Starting off with the increased height limit right here, which costs 98 Robux to upgrade every single time, and you get an extra 20 meters out of that. Now, in total, to increase the height to the absolute maximum right here, it's going to cost 686 Robux, which is quite a lot right here. But you can see with this lovely little graph that I've made right here, the actual amount that you get from that. So you start off with this sand pot right here, which is 70 meters, including the very bottom block of the plot. Now, it is a little bit fishy that it also includes, you know, the underground and the bottom block that you can't remove or change, really. But it does include that right here, and that goes all the way up to here. Which, you can see, isn't very high, but you can still build some pretty good roller coasters with this, just no hyper coasters or anything like that. And then if you increase it by one more, you get this extra 20 meters right here in this rock. Then an extra 20 meters right here, you get this brown rock. Then an extra 20 meters snow. Then ice. Then concrete. And then, of course, granite up here and black granite. And you can see, once you actually got the maximum size right here. It is um, quite a lot of height. This is so much height that most people will never even need this much of a height. I mean, look at my character right here and look at how tall this is in comparison. There's uh, quite a difference between the two, isn't there? So it is a very useful game pass right here, clearly, although it does cost quite a lot to get to the absolute maximum. And most people will not need to get all the way to the maximum unless you're building some sort of hyper coaster or skyscraper or something ridiculous like that. But if you do want to build something big like a stealth dynamic coaster or something like that, then, well, there you go. You get all the way up to 210 meters. Moving on to the next one right here is the extra expansion plots. Now, this is something that a lot of people don't actually know fully about because there's quite a lot of extra stuff other than just getting an extra 12 plots right here. So what I've actually done right here is laid these two out right here with and without the game pass. Now, without the game pass right here, you can see that the green is the unlocked free. So you get that for free when you start a new plot. The yellow is purchasable, so you can buy it with money in the game. And then red is not purchasable. And you can see without the game pass right here, you just unlock these first four blocks right here. By the way, each block is is about 16 by 16 blocks if you're wondering right here. But then you can also purchase these extra 20 blocks right here. So all the way around here. But you can see that you cannot purchase these extra back plots right here. Now you can see that you can still unlock two thirds of the plot right here without this game pass. Which is pretty good. But if you do want this extra bit of space, you do need the game pass. But the other thing that that game pass actually does is unlocks an extra 12 plots for free when you start the game. So you can see normally you would start with just these four plots. Whereas now when you've got the game pass, you automatically get these other 12 plots for free. So not only are you unlocking these 12 plots, you're also unlocking 12 plots as well on top of that for free. Which is really nice to have because basically you have the exact same amount of plots that you can purchase, but you just automatically get a bit more space, you know, uh, automatically. Although do keep in mind this game pass is nearly 500 Robux, so it is definitely one of the most expensive game passes. The next one right here, though, is Ride Operations. Now, this is one of the most useful game passes, and you really need this these days if you want to build a really good roller coaster. The good news is, though, that you can get this for only 98 Robux, which is pretty cheap for the amount of stuff that you can now do with this. So the first thing that you can do right here is synchronization. So you can have more than one ride or roller coaster or whatever actually synchronized together. So if I now just open these two roller coasters right here, you can see in the Operations tab, I've actually synced these together. Now, keep in mind, you do need an entrance and an exit, and this does actually need to be open for this to work. But if we now get in the train right here, it'll just take a little while. The restraints will come on my side right here and then they'll come down on the other roller coaster right here. And you'll see that they actually move together right here and set off at the same time, which is really useful if you want to have some sort of dueling coaster. It's basically impossible to build a dueling coaster without this game pass. But another thing that you can actually do with this game pass is operation changes. So if we actually go into the operations tab right here, you can see there's a bunch of stuff that we can actually change right here. So for example, this first one right here, this is just going to be all default right here, all 100% whatever. But then on this one right here, we're going to go into the operations tab and we're going to lower down the track friction to 0% which means that the coaster will slow down slower. We can raise up the boost power to 500% so it'll be 5 times faster right here. And we can even change stuff like the gravity multiplier so when it goes downhill it goes faster but when it goes uphill it goes slower more. So now with 500% boost power and 0% friction let's just run these both again synchronize and see how that looks. So now if we just get in right here again you'll see when this actually gets started that this is going to look a lot different right here because this one's going to go flying right in front of it right there. And this is really useful 
if you want to increase like the chain lift speed for example on your coaster or if it's not quite making it you can lower down the friction because the in-game default friction isn't quite perfect compared to real life neither is the chain lift speed for some roller coasters so really you need this if you want to build a more realistic roller coaster but the final thing that this does right here which is also really useful is ride modes now i've got two examples right here that are completely different to your normal ride modes so normally the coaster would just go out straight like you just saw there but for example right here we can actually put this onto a shuttle mode right here or as it's called in the game forward incline shuttle mode I, I don't know what that means but you can see that there's an absolute ton of different choices right here for different sort of things that you can choose you can see right here instead of it just going forward and then basically just stopping in the station right here it's actually going to go backwards through the station and not stop and then it'll go up this spike again and then forwards again it'll then go over this launch but it won't go over the launch to kind of speed it up I don't think or maybe it will right here I'm not sure and then it'll come back into the station and stop because this is kind of like a boomerang coast that you see at some parks I'll put a photo up on the screen of course and then you can also make it just go backwards right here so this will instead of going forwards right here and just crashing this will instead go backwards and roll backwards out of the station the possibilities are honestly endless right here especially because you can then make a custom mode and just do whatever you want with it you can see if we just go into custom mode you can change so many things right here you can change this uh, booster mode the brakes mode the station mode all this stuff right here and you can change the percentages on the go for all this sort of stuff which is really nice so it's a very good game pass and very useful and you definitely need to get it right here if you want to build a bit more of an interesting or realistic roller coaster. And now we're on to the crappiest Game Pass of them all. Because this Game Pass, of course, doesn't even really work anymore. And you can't even buy this Game Pass if you want now. Because Dennis actually took this off sale after Roblox's music update came out. Which basically stopped you from uploading any custom audio and using it in games such as Theme Park Tycoon 2. So although we can still place in the jukebox right here. And we can still add stuff in right here into the jukebox. You can't really use it because basically you can't upload your own audio anymore. This is still usable if you want to add in sound effects that are under 7 seconds. Or or if you want to use Roblox audio, except no, you can't use Roblox audio because for some reason you can't use Roblox's music or sound effects in Theme Park Tycoon 2. I don't know why this is a feature. I don't know why this is a thing. It's so stupid and it's so incredibly annoying right here as well. Basically, this would be completely normally usable except from you can't, you know, make custom stuff right here if Dennis just allowed you to use Roblox's audio in right here. Honestly, for the life of me, I can't work out why he doesn't let you just use the audio. But regardless, this is the Jukebox Game Pass right here. You can't use it and you can't buy it, but it's still here. And although you can't buy right here if you're wondering it's 98 robux so just under 100 robux so it'd be great to use if we could actually use it and of course, in true cozy fashion, we've left the best to the last, which is the Disable Collisions Game Pass right here. For just under 300 Robux, you can get the Disable Collisions Game Pass right here. And this enables you to do an absolute ton of stuff right here, including, for example, putting stuff inside of each other. So you can see right here, I've got four bushes and, well, they're just put inside of each other. You can do this with anything, you know, for example, primitives right here. I can just place these inside of each other. Whereas if I turn Disable Collisions off right here, well, I can no longer even place them inside of each other because, well, look at that. I can't even move them <laughs> which also brings me on to the second point right here which is that you can just move stuff anywhere with disable collision you can change the snapping right here to a half a block or, you know eight for block or even just no snapping you can also change the vertical snapping the rotational snapping you can even use free rotate mode which means if i just hold r right here you can rotate this in any way you want and where it gets even 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 better right here is you can use precision build mode which if you come into here you can enable precision build mode and you can literally rotate this and place this anywhere just like this it's basically like what planet Coast has right here, except from in Theme Park Tycoon 2. Of course, you can also change the move snapping, the rotation snapping, and all that stuff here too. As well as actually use custom snapping. So, for example, if you want to use a 0.1, you can use 0.1. And if you want to move it on the global axis, so you just want to move it around like this, you can also do that. And one of the best features about Disable Collisions, which was recently added, which basically makes this game pass a must get right here, is that you can now resize a lot of objects. You can resize every single primitive right here, along with, well, basically most of the props. But not everything, just keep that in mind. But if we take this bucket right here, you can see that we can just literally expand this or make it even smaller as much as we want. You can see this is the same bucket, but at three different sizes. And we can do that with a bunch of stuff. For example, this anvil right here, we can make absolutely tiny or absolutely huge, which just unlocks so many opportunities and so many things that you can do right here. It is honestly one of the best game passes that you absolutely need to get. I'm going to be releasing a video where I put every single game pass into a tier list when this video reaches 100 likes. So hit that like button if you'd like to 
see that video, where I basically go through which is the best Game Pass all the way down to the worst and which one you should buy. But except from that, guys, that is everything for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Here's all the lovely members on the screen, guys. Thank you all so much for supporting me. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't already, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. That would be absolutely amazing. And except from that, guys, I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye.